In this video, I'll show you how to install the TIAD 8.2 server to your system. Let's start on the TIAD homepage. You can see the web address there, jboss.org slash TIAD. Let's go over to the downloads link to the right and click on that. It will take us to the download page for TIAD. Scroll to the bottom and you'll see some installation instructions uh, requirements. Um, you'll need Java 1.6 and then you'll need to download the JBoss AS711 software and you'll also need to download the TIAD 8.2 software. So the Java 1.6, I'll leave that up to you to go out and download a 1.6 JDK and install it to your system. So we're going to go right to the JBoss AS download. Now you can find a JBoss AS download at this web address, jboss.org slash jboss as slash downloads.html. You'll see the 7.1 downloads. The one that we want is the 7.1.1 final server and I am on a Linux system and I'm going to download the the tar file version of it. I'm not actually going to download it here because I've already done that just to save uh, time so we don't have to wait for the download. But you'll want to download that first. Um, next let's go back to the TID page and scroll back up to the top. Um, on the TIAD page, you'll want to download um, the first item, the TIAD runtime, and we'll download the 8.2 final version, and that'll be a zip file. So go ahead and download that. Um, so once you get that downloaded, let's go out to our file system. So here's my file system. I've downloaded um, the two artifacts and I've created a TID server 8.2 directory. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and extract the JBoss tar file. So let me open up a terminal window. Here's a terminal window and I am in the TID server 8.2 directory. So let me go ahead and extract the JBoss tar file that we downloaded. Okay, so that's extracting. And let's go back to our file system. So when we extracted that, it created this JBoss AS711 file directory. And you can see uh, the folder structure. Uh, we're going to be interested in the bin folder. That contains uh, a lot of the scripts, uh, for example, to start your server, and also the standalone uh, folder. Uh, there's some configuration items in this configuration directory that we'll be interested in. Uh, before we look further, let's go ahead and um, we want to move our TID zip file into the folder that got created for JBoss. So let me go ahead and do that now. I'm going to go ahead and copy this down into the JBoss folder. Um, then I'm going to go back out to my terminal window. And I'm going to go down into the JBoss directory. So you can see the TID uh, zip file that I copied down. What we want to do is we're just going to extract the uh, zip file. Um, it contains the same folder structure as the uh, JBoss folder structure, structure. So we're just going to unzip that. Okay, so that's unzipped into our JBoss structure. Let's go back now 
and I'm going to dive down into the standalone um, configuration and take a look. Um, so after we extracted our TID zip file, you can see that there's a couple files here that have been added. Uh, the, t the standalone dash TID dot XML, that's the uh, standalone configuration get, that contains all the configuration for our TID server. And it's also added a roles and a users.properties file. Uh, now the user.property file contains a default user definition for our TID server. And by default that's user with a password of user. Um, you can change that if we, you wish, but uh, you'll need those credentials to connect to the TID server. So now that we've extracted um, TID into the JBoss server, we can just go ahead and start the server. Let me go back to the command line. And we want to start the TID server by going down into the bin directory. And there's a standalone script, and we're going to use that. Now, the standalone uh, script, you can give it a server configuration if you want to use a configuration that's different than the default. So in this case, we want to define the server configuration to be the standalone dash TID XML file that uh, was contained in the zip that we extracted. So this is the command that we're going to use to start our JBoss server. So go ahead and enter. You can see JBoss starting. As it starts, you'll see um, a lot of the TID artifacts along with the other JBoss artifacts uh, are getting deployed. Um, it starts up pretty quickly. And so there we go, it's already started. Um, so that's pretty much it to install your JBoss um, AS server with TID. Let me go back to a web browser. We can check to make sure that it's running. We'll type localhost 8080 and you can see that the JBoss server is running and now the, uh, the TID instance is also available. So that completes the video on how to install your TID 8.2 server. I hope that it was helpful and thank you for watching.